Well, we have a whole bunch of uh, cucumbers here that are way past due of uh, needing to be planted. And uh, the plan is to do these hydroponically out in the greenhouse in uh, Dutch buckets. So what I need to do today is we're going to get the bottom um, filled up maybe to about the, the shelf here roughly with uh, some expanded clay pebbles uh, also called uh, hydroton and what that'll do is that'll keep the perlite which is what we'll fill the box up with from getting into the plumbing so we're going to go put some hydroton in and then we have some uh, non-woven polyethylene fabric that will stick in on top of the hydroton uh, and then we'll put the perlite in and all this stuff is going to do is just keep a layer between it so that the really small um, perlite doesn't get down and get into the drain and start clogging things up. Uh, this is uh, the same material that fabric pots are made out of. Uh, it's commonly called um, pond underlayment. So if you look online and look up pond underlayment, it's the stuff that you put down on the ground underneath your pond liner uh, to keep from puncturing the pond liner with uh, rocks or whatever might be in the ground. Uh, so it's pretty common stuff and I just cut it to fit. And once we get all that done, then we're going to put these on top. They'll uh, fit in and actually press fit in. Um, and the whole reason for that is uh, we don't have sides on our greenhouse right now and it's windy and the wind will tend to blow the perlite out of the pots. Um, and the other problem is uh, when the perlite is exposed at the top and it gets wet, it starts to grow algae. So that'll keep the light off the perlite so we don't grow any algae. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. This is a half inch uh, polystyrene. Um, I have a little hot wire cutter. I cut it all with, uh, but you can get that at Home Depot. It's uh, basically uh, insulation that's used for garage doors and it's uh, cut to like two foot by four foot. Um, comes in a uh, pack with like four sheets in a, in a pack. Um, but that's all it is, just half inch polystyrene. You could use the Owens Corning pink foam or the, the blue stuff that you get at uh, Lowe's or you know the pink stuff is at Home Depot. Either one of those would work too. Uh, just get the half inch size because the, uh, the lip on the uh, inside of the bucket here is a half inch.
anyway, we're going to keep going with the, uh, try to get these uh, cucumbers planted in the Dutch buckets today. And what we're going to work on uh, this morning is uh, mixing up the hydroponic nutrients. Uh, basically, we have a, an A and a B mixture that we do. Uh, the A mixture is the hydroponic nutrient and uh, magnesium sulfate. And the B mixture is uh, um, calcium nitrate, and uh, we mix them at 101 concentration. And then we have injectors uh, that we mix with rainwater to uh, create our hydroponic solution. So the injectors pull the nutrient solution at 101. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you how we do that right here. All right, so we got our cheat sheet here. It tells us uh, what we need to mix. Um, I like to mix up about four gallons at a time. And uh, for the magnesium sulfate, uh, we mix uh, five ounces per 100 gallons. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to mix five ounces per gallon. That way the uh, 100 to 1 injectors will actually make it at the right concentration when it sucks it up and uh, pumps it out. So we need 20 ounces, which is a pound and a quarter. So we have our magnesium sulfate here. We have a bucket. And we are going to mix um, a pound and a quarter here. One pound, four ounces. And we'll go ahead and tear that back to zero. And then we're going to mix our hydroponic nutrient, which is eight ounces per 100 gallons. So at uh, eight ounces per 100 gallons, we want eight ounces per gallon. So that's uh, 32 ounces or two pounds. So we're going to go ahead and add two pounds of the hydroponic. There's one pound. there is two pounds so we'll start mixing that in here now we started with uh, some rainwater get that mixed really good and then we're gonna we got a line in the bucket there we're gonna top it off to uh, four gallons but we want to get that rinsed in really good and we have uh, we have an RO system back here hooked up to this water so we're actually using uh, some RO water with this so we'll get it topped up
All right, we're at the four gallon mark there. So we keep our buckets marked. So this is the A solution. And we'll go ahead and dump all that out. And we'll uh, give this a quick rinse. All right, let's look at the cheat sheet here. And for the calcium nitrate, we're also at eight pounds per 100 gallons. So, excuse me, eight ounces per 100 gallons. Uh, so we're gonna do um, four gallons here because we're doing the 100 to one and that's another two pounds. So we'll take our calcium nitrate pounds of calcium nitrate. And we'll mix that in. Get that mixed in really good. Now we're using rainwater and RO water here because our uh, our well water is uh, really heavy. Um, it's got a lot of. Uh, it's very hard hard water, a lot of calcium in it. Uh, it also has a lot of uh, bacterial iron in it. Uh, so it's kind of a mess. Um, so we catch a bunch of rainwater and then uh, we go with uh, the RO water when we can. That's nice because the rainwater and the RO water are pretty much pH 7 or close enough. Um, so we don't have to adjust any of the pH on any of this stuff when we're using it.
And we got a bucket that says B on it. That will put this stuff in. And now we'll just take these buckets out and uh, hook them up to the injectors. All right, well, we've had the system up and running here with uh, just cycling plain water through it. So we emptied the tank uh, this morning, rinsed it out really good. And we got our A and B solution buckets here hooked up to the A and B injectors. And uh, we have a water line coming in from our rainwater system. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and start filling up the tanks. So these basically have little pumps in them and uh, they got kind of like a syringe thing and they actually suck the nutrient up from the buckets, up the hoses, and they mix it into the water and we bring it out into the tank. And it uh, mixes it 100 to 1. Um, and the whole reason we have an A and a B is because uh, at the concentrations these are uh, mixed in these containers, um, they would react and precipitate out. So we don't want that to happen. So we got to keep the, uh, the calcium nitrate and the magnesium sulfate and the hydroponic solution separate. Well, that's it. We've got them all planted. So now we have the uh, timer set on this thing. It's gonna run, oh, I don't know, about four times a day for about 15 minutes at a time. And uh, we'll see how they do. Well, you know, come back in a few weeks, see what these are looking like. Uh, we got some wire running up at the top. Uh, We'll drop some uh, lines down that we can trellis them up with. And uh, hopefully, I don't know, we'll do some Dutch bucket uh, cucumbers. Hoping anyways. Catch y'all on the next video.